Welcome. Now we'll take a look at a very interesting subject here. Why is software insecure? And why do we need vulnerability management in the first place? So software is everywhere in IT. And hardware and software always work together and have an interplay together to give us our IT, complete IT system. It could be a device, it could be your mobile, it could be a server. There's always the an interlinking of hardware and software which work together. So software is everywhere in IT. Now software is being developed in a manner which leaves many defects which may be exploited by attackers and that's because of the agile method of development where the software team performance is linked to the, um, to the fast pace in which they can develop, quickly develop the functionality of the software and their performance is linked to speed rather than um, the security aspect. So security is completely overlooked and in many, many software development um, houses, the quality testing is performed but security testing is completely overlooked. So there's a race to meet software deadlines with little emphasis on security in the software industry, um, which results in insecure software. Now, Gary McGraw, uh, one of the authors uh, of a security, uh, software security book, writes about trinity of trouble, which means three types of trouble which cause uh, software security issues. The one is, um, or, or which cause challenges. One is connectivity. Ever increasing computer connectivity and to the internet enhances exposure to attacks. And that's very, very true because the type of uh, applications that we have now, uh, they have wide exposure to the internet and to other computers and to other users. And the security surface area or the, secure, or the attack vectors are just tremendous. And then there's this issue of extensibility, which Gary McGraw talks about. So he says, second, an extensible system is one that supports updates and extensions and thereby allows functionality to evolve incrementally. And that's just the architecture of the software. So web browsers, for example, support plugins that enable users to install extensions for new document types. And extensibility is attractive for purposes of increasing functionality, but also makes it difficult to keep the constantly adapting system free of software vulnerabilities. So extensibility, you know, adds features um, and makes the software more interesting, but it, it adds security vulnerabilities. And then there's complexity. So software systems are growing exponentially in size and complexity which makes vulnerabilities unavoidable um, because there's a lot of people who are required um, to organize and develop that software. And that, in, that complexity inherently introduces security vulnerabilities. Now, Carnegie Mellon uh, University's Scilab Sustainable Computing Consortium estimates that you know, the ballpark average is that commercial software um, contains 20 to 30 bugs or defects for every 1,000 lines of code. Now, Windows XP contains at least 40 million lines of code. And if you do the math, uh, that's about 1 million bugs in Windows XP. And um, you, can, you can see the reference and you can get further details from the reference that's shown on the screen. So another issue why software is inherently insecure is related to monoculture. And this means, um, Dan Greer explains, the security situation is deteriorating and that deterioration compounds or gets worse when nearly all computers are in the hands of end users who rely on a single operating system subject to the same vulnerabilities the world over. So because um, everybody's using Windows, and everybody's using Linux, and everybody's using Oracle, and everybody's using Cisco or Juniper. So if there is a vulnerability, the impact is just tremendous and phenomenal. So this uh, monoculture is, uh, is, is, you know, it adds to the impact. Now, um, the other issue uh, related uh, to monoculture is that take Windows, Microsoft Windows, um, and we've looked at CIS security control benchmarks. And the largest document sets for security benchmarks are for the Microsoft um, Windows products. So, you know, we've seen 700 pages uh, PDF files of CIS security benchmarks. 
whereas other benchmarks were 150 pages, 200 pages. So Windows, uh, developed by uh, Microsoft, is the predominant software used all around the world, and unfortunately, it has the most vulnerabilities also. So these are the reasons why software is insecure, and software is very much part of IT, and hence, we need vulnerability management. Thank you.